I watched the uh, Prince William two-part documentary over the weekend, We Can End Homelessness, and this is a review, uh, uh, and the review actually addresses a major criticism uh, coming from uh, one individual in particular, but also LBC TV, where uh, the claim is that we don't need royals interfering in um, these issues. This is an area of government policy. Well, if, if government policy was working, you wouldn't have a homeless crisis, would you? We have a homeless crisis here in Australia as well. And there are a number of factors that contribute to that. We all understand that. So why can't Prince William be someone who wants to address this? I think what he wants to do is he wants a couple of key issues that he advances and really makes a difference. And he's got the Earthshot Prize and he's got the Homeward um, project. And I feel that the documentaries really addressed a lot of those criticisms, you know, that we don't need the royals to be involved in this. Why not a royal? What is wrong with having a royal? For goodness sake, as, as one uh, gentleman pointed out, I'd rather have a prince in a palace than no one. And William is clearly... Uh, he's listening. He, this is what I like about William. He listens. Now, you can't end homelessness. You can't because it's a human condition, but you can make a difference. Jesus Christ said, you, you, you will have the poor with you always, but he also says minister to the poor. And it's on, on, a, on that in which many of our good deeds on this earth will be measured. It's not going to be measured by virtue signalling on X and Facebook and all of these social media platforms, which so many people love to do. That doesn't get you into heaven, kids. And good works don't get you into heaven either. But it is important that we look after our fellow man. It is important that we are aware of our fellow man. And it, you can't just throw money at it. You have to allow your heart to be touched by the area of need, which is what we see in Prince William. This is what I see, that his heart is really touched. And I, I that's what I look for. I believe that they've um, put together a very good wraparound model and it involves, I'll refer to my notes, darlings. Um, it, it involves charities, churches, government, the private and business sector and royal patronage. Why can't a royal get involved in this? Just because he has properties. His mother, Princess Diana, she succeeded as a mother in passing on her own passion to her children. In this case, it's Prince William we're talking about. There are going to be lessons along the way. Um, Prince William has suggested as such but I believe it's a documentary worth your time it's well put together and the production values are what you would expect uh, really beautiful uh, but I also like this uh, royal model of patronage where you look at a couple of key events uh, key issues rather and you apply yourself to that He's put his hand in his pocket. They've got uh, dedicated land from the Duchy of Cornwall last year and um, development's already underway and it is dedicated to emergency housing for the youth and this is where it goes wrong. If you can arrest this issue in the youth, you really have succeeded and this is where his heart is. It's with the youth. Over 300 organisations have aligned themselves with this um, project since it was launched. And in my view, that is a measure of success already. So, you know, to the critics, suck it up, buttercup.